Marcel. Hello guys, let's talk in more details about Vzor line of red dot sites and conduct a series of tests. My name is Anastasia, this is Dmitry. There are currently 10 red dot sites in Vzor line. They differ in functionality, price, kit and batteries. But in this particular review I will not talk about their differences, but about general features. Because as red dot sites they are generally the same. Yes, the set of aiming marks differs, the possibility of separate adjustment of the brightness of the circle and the dot differs, but nevertheless all Vzors have a dot size of 1 MOA, a circle size of 34 MOA, the same zero in units, the same quick release principle, the same red dot tube. We will consider these aspects in more details. In particular, let's look at how different aiming marks look at different distances, while showing the advantages of the circle size of 34 MOA, also, let's see how the zeroing units work on an example of the square exercise and check the repeatability of the quick release. Let's start with aiming marks. In Vzor line there are red dots with only dot aiming mark, only dot plus circle aiming mark and three to choose from. Dot circle circle plus dot. I will demonstrate on an example of Vzor 4 multi Vzor, which is installed on my rifle. This is a complex device 4-in-1. Red dot, visible laser, infrared laser and infrared illuminator. The device is complex, but nevertheless, as mentioned earlier, the red dot tubes are the same in all Vzors, so the way we will see the aiming marks in Vzor 4, we see them the same way on other Vzor devices. For example, Vzor 3 is smaller and more compact. We will see the same on it. The difference is that Vzor 4 has a separate adjustment of circle and dot brightnesses. In Vzor 3 they are adjusted simultaneously. Experimental conditions are also important at this point. I send my greetings to our follower who asked us several times in comment section to show how do aiming marks look on a snowy sunny day. These are the conditions that we had. The snow hasn't melted yet and the sun was so bright that my face even tanned that day. Aiming marks consist of two elements, a circle and a dot. The dot size is 1 MOA, we'll come back to that later. The size of the circle is 34 MOA. And we were also asked why we chose this exact circle size, because some other manufacturers use 65 MOA. But let's move from theory to practice and see with our own eyes what is more convenient. To do this I chose an object that will be easy for you to match with other targets. Let's take a look. In order to clearly demonstrate the convenience of the circle with a size of 34 MOA aiming mark, I made such an object. These are two 50 by 50 cm targets attached to a cardboard. The result is an object which is 50 cm wide and 1 m high. I will put it at distances of 50 m and 100 m, and I will show how it corresponds with 34 MOA circle aiming mark. Let's see. I installed the target at a distance of 50 meters. 34 MOA corresponds to 50 centimeters at 50 meters. So it turns out that the diameter of the circle is equal to the widths of the target. And even in the snow under the sun the circle is clearly distinguishable. I'll switch to just a circle without a dot and then to the dot. Now I have moved the target at a distance of 100 meters. The diameter of the circle corresponds to the height of the target. I will also switch between modes and then I will show how a circle of 65 MOA by another manufacturer demonstrates itself in the same conditions.
So, 65 MOA by another manufacturer. The site is new with new batteries at maximum brightness. I raise the aiming mark higher to the trees because it is difficult for me to catch it with my eye. Before that, I tried another site of a similar model, but old. The aiming mark was not visible at all. Therefore, we filmed with this one. At 100 meters with 65 MOA circle, it is quite difficult to catch that target. As you could see, the circle size of 34 MOA is much more comfortable. Now let's speak about the dot size. All Zor red dots have a dot size of 1 MOA. For clarity, I drew circles on exactly the same target as we used at the range, which in diameter correspond to 1, 2 and 4 MOAs at a distance of 100 meters. 1 MOA at 100 meters is 2.9 cm and 4 MOA is already 11.6 cm, already covers the center of the target. I consider it inappropriate to discuss larger dot sizes and I also draw your attention to the fact that visually the size of the dot may seem larger to our eyes due to high brightness. In this case, it is necessary to reduce the brightness, and the real sizes of 1, 2 and 4 MOAs are shown on the target. 1 MOA is red, 2 MOA is blue, 4 MOA is green. And, as you can see, with a dot size of 1 MOA, as we have in Zor red dots, it is already possible to talk about sniping from an AK. By the way, it's time to shoot, and we will start with the square exercise. This exercise serves to demonstrate and verify the compliance of the claimed click size with the real one. Dmitry will shoot. Dmitry will now make a series of three shots. Now I am doing 10 clicks up. Dmitry will shoot again, after that I will make 10 clicks to the right, down and to the left. After each series of clicks Dmitry shoots. The result should be a square and not just a random square, but a square with exact dimensions. There is of course some inaccuracy that depends on the shooter, cartridge and other parameters. We fired with regular cartridge. Shoot again. I do 10 clicks to the right. The square must turn out with a side of 14 and a half centimeters. Why so? The target was located at a distance of 50 meters from the shooter. One click is equal to one MOA. We shoot again. I make 10 clicks in each direction. One MOA is about 2.9 cm at 100 m. At 50 it is 1.45 cm. Accordingly, multiply by 10, we get 14.5 cm. The square will be with a side of 14.5 cm. I make 10 clicks to the left. The outline of the square is already emerging. After we shoot, I will take this target with me to the studio to measure it. So I'll show it again. Let's go and watch! We got a square, a square with even corners. We observe that there is a return of the click to its original position. The test is passed. This is the target, I brought it with me from the range. Don't pay attention to these hits, we show them later. Here is our square, which was on the test, and its side should correspond to 14.5 cm. I cut out a square with a side of 14.5 cm from a cardboard, you can make sure of this. Here, 14.5. 
and ideally the heads should lie at the points of the vertices of this square, here. That's exactly what happened. The tests have been successfully passed. Mitri shot with Vzor 3 red dot, the click size is 1 MOA, and all the other Vzors have the same zero in units. One click equals 1 MOA. Let's move on to the next test – repeatability of quick release. It means that we have zeroed the device, shot after that, take it off, install on the same place, and the point of impact is the same. Let's take a look. Dmitry fired a series of shots and takes off his red dot from the right. Now he will put it back and shoot again. There will be a total of four series of shots. As in the previous experiment, there is an inaccuracy that depends on the cartridge, the shooter and other circumstances. Dmitry makes a second series of shots. then removes the red dot and installs it again. The distance is the same as in the previous experiment, but in this case he has Zor 1 red dot, red dot with a large number of platforms of different heights in the kit, it has 3A battery and with the possibility of separate adjustment of brightness of the circle and the dot. Third series. Quick release ensures repeatability. I will note the importance of correct adjustment of quick release. It is done once for a specific rail to ensure rigidity. You install, you tighten the side screw, the quick release is adjusted to your rail. The point of impact will not move. The fourth series. Ready, let's go and watch! Well, well. Beauty! Not counting the two shots, which may simply be either a mistake of the shooter or ammunition, quite good, the quick release has repeatability. Yes? We have shown the reliability of quick release on Zor red dots, yes, and on my personal example I can say that I have Zor 4 mounted on my rifle. Often for video tasks I need to reassemble the setup, put some other red dot, thermal image, etc. To do this I remove my Zor 4, but then after a while I return to my favorite setup for today with Zor 4. I put it on the same place and it remains zeroed. Very cool. Today we showed various experiments with Vzora red dots, we will show other tests in future, the products show their convenience and reliability. You can see more information about them on our website en.zenitko.ru, beware of fakes, the list of our official partners is on our website en.zenitko.ru in partners section. We never gave any rights to our products to anyone else, if you like the video. Press the like button, thank you for sharing it with your friends, and if you have questions, ask them in comment section. We will see you soon, goodbye!